Uh, sorry guys, it looks like there's some issues with the Wi-Fi. I know there's an article too about the problems. Hey Dan, what's going on? Michelle, still working? Uh, not sure what's going on with these Wi-Fi stuff. I'm, I'm getting a low quality... Are we getting? Yeah, you just have to apply for it. I think uh, the stimulus already passed. You just have to, if you're in taxes, just go to the Taxes Workforce Commission and apply for it and see if you get it, <clears throat> see if you qualify. Yeah, I can definitely check what's up. But just to let you guys know, for some reason, I've been, for this week, I've been noticing issues. I mean, I did check our Wi-Fi connection here. It's perfectly fine. But for some reason, I'm still noticing a lag or disruption so there's an article here from the TechCrunch says that 88 out of 200 U.S. cities have been ha, have seen internet speed decline this past three weeks. Well, it makes sense because the majority of people right now are spending too much time on the internet, using the resources to work from home of the internet. Makes sense because the connection at home is not the same connection when you work from your office. The service is a little bit different. <laughs> So that's why I'm, 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 for some reason, I'm also having some issues where the connection is bad. I love HRF. Yes, Dane, I love HRF, SEMrush, uh, plus I have some others out there. But I, I would say SEMrush and HRF are one of my top favorite tools. Okay. So do you have HRF? Because if you do, you can definitely plug in your website. Go ahead and... Put your website in the comment section. Let me check and see if I can uh, if I can check it. And let me know, guys. I mean, how's the connection? Is it still is, is it still an issue there? Oh my god! Let's see. Still a complication. All right. Mm -mm. Just making sure. Uh, if you all face any issues, let me know. Send me a text if the connection is bad. Uh, watch dog pest control. Yeah, if you guys notice a slight problem <clears throat> with the connection, let me know in the message because I got to switch. From one Wi-Fi to another. Thank you, Melanie. By the way, Melanie, uh, was I able to answer your question? Let me know if I didn't. I'll repeat it again. Watchdog pest control. Let's see. Oh my God, that thing is. Oh, anyway. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Watchdog pest control. Patrol your home. Protect. Prevent. Call the number. Uh, let's see. You gotta get rid of the slide, my friend. It's uh, 2020. Just stick with one message. Uh, if calling the number is the primary thing for you, then that should be the primary thing for you. Okay. I love that you have a video right here. Good. Common pass. Excellent. Our happy customer testimony. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, and get a quote. I wish the quote was somewhere on the top. You know, get a quote here or even here. Get a quote instead of going to the bottom. Okay, very nice built website. Good job on this. All right, let's go ahead and check the the traffic. <clears throat> let's check the traffic. For the most part, I think I need to narrow down my topics. Yes, Melinda, it depends because, again, if you're talking about your own blog, I mean, your blog has a lot of cool stuff. I mean, from culture to product to different things. My suggestion would be if you're ever trying to change or narrow down your content which is really great is you can ask your audience since you have a list of subscribers you can ask them you can give them the topic and tell them which one they want to uh read more that's number one and number two look at your google analytics and the google search console and you can do a research for the let's say for the past year and, and look at the most popular content on your page which are the most popular blog that's been shared and whatnot so Make sure you do that 
by checking the performance on the Google Search Console and by also looking at the uh, links and audience, um, what you call it, uh, the traffic to the pages from the Google Analytics, okay? So make sure you do that before you make the decision to narrow it down. I mean, it's good that you are going to narrow it down to be very specific because that will help you to implement and put like 100% of your effort for that 100% target audience. But make sure that you do the survey, whether through the email, through the social, and look at the analytics. Very, very important because the analytics will tell you exactly what kind of audience are coming into the website, where they're coming from, and how many minutes they're spending, and what they're sharing, and so forth, okay? <clears throat> So let's see, Michelle, uh, all internet is slow. Mine is stopped working the other day. My phone hotspot is limited, high speed. Yeah, same thing here. For some reason, I can't even connect to my hotspot. So in a few days, it's going to be April 1st. So watch out for April 1st, guys and ladies. You know, just make sure to see what happens on April 1st. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so then we want them to call instead of contact from excellent. Uh, so... Dane, if that's your primary main call to action, perfect. What I would suggest is that uh, you see right here, uh, if this is a primary call to action feature, then it has to be in different color so that I can notice it because I don't right now. It's good that it's here. Just make sure you don't have second slider. Just make sure one slide <clears throat> or basically disable the slide because most sliders don't work on the mobile devices. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so make sure that most of the devices uh, don't have the slider work. So just have, have one message and a big call this number for, for an estimate. <coughs> and you can also have it on the top right here. Okay, so let's check. Let's check. Let's see your let's see your ranking locally. How you doing? How is the connection so far? It's still good. <coughs> Amazing! Look at that. Oh my God, that's awesome. So you probably get like 5,000 and more hits? Okay. So for your website, watchdogpestcontrol.com, 4,500 keywords. That's awesome, dude. Let's check out. Let's see what kind of keywords are those. So your searching is, is pretty good. <coughs> okay, that is very good, my friend. Very good, very good. Let's see. Let's say. Oh, sure, sure. Right here, and I look at the position, and I'm assuming, uh, Dane, I'm assuming you already have Google Analytics and the Google Search Console configured and installed. Now, if you want to go an extra mile, if you want to do something very cool, I suggest or advise you to install or pay for <coughs> Hotjar, <coughs> Hotjar.com. The cool thing about Hotjar.com, if you don't have it, Hotjar or crazy egg another one called maybe lucky orange or something like that the cool thing about this service it's like google analytics <clears throat> but the difference is it records the mouse movement you already have it <laughs> okay you do you have it then if you do that's awesome because it records the mouse movement movement on the desktop laptop and mobile devices so this will give you an idea how the visitors are behaving, if they're clicking the, clicking the videos and whatnot, and so forth. And I see you also have a blog right here. Okay, let's go back. <clears throat> All right, let's see this. And if you need a copy of the keyword, let me know. I will I will uh, send it to you. You can connect with me on Facebook because right now I'm live on YouTube and Facebook and Periscope. So do send me a message. It's going to be my full name, yusufchowdhury at gmail.com, or you can just look me up on Facebook. So let's see what kind of keywords are bringing you on the first page of Google. <clears throat> I 
Uh, baking soda for spider bites must be a blog. It came, people also ask. So that basically means when people go to Google and they type a keyword, uh, that question was in people also ask, people clicked on it and then they came to your site. Feature snippet link to, okay, awesome. That means Google basically showed the result, the feature snippet, the short information about your company. That's awesome. Are there fleas in Phoenix, Arizona? Hmm. Are you like a nationwide? <coughs> Are you nationwide? I forgot. I keep thinking about you in tax. Oh, you also have a chat. That's amazing. I'm uh, sorry. I forgot you're in taxes. I think you're nationwide. Where are you? Where are you at? Okay. That's good. Uh, do you sell spider by treatment? <coughs> it's coming from image pack. People also ask a link pointing it back at you. Feature snippet. Black and white spider, Arizona. Water bugs. Okay, Arizona. Okay. Uh, Pax rat versus roof rats. White spider, Arizona. Can fleas live in Arizona? Are there fleas? And as you can see, a lot, lot of the keywords are question based. Very interesting. Dog fleas in Arizona. Just Phoenix? Huh, but they, they type. Okay. Fleas in Arizona. Are the fleas in Phoenix? There you go. Spider bites, home remedy, baking soda. That's more like an information, I guess. As you can see, it's on the first page, but it's only like 40 search per month. And the traffic is only like less than 1%. <coughs> I don't consider these <coughs> a transaction. I'm more like a content. Probably you have a lot of content. That's why. Uh, do crickets leave uh, droppings, water bugs, Arizona? Uh, let's see. Does, 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 does. What are the ones that says exterminator? Cockroach belly. Ugh. Do cinnamon sticks repellents? Looks like more are content based. You know what I mean? So everything all the way to here, these are all on the front page. But the rest can go on the second and third. Anything from 1 to 10 on the first page, 11 to 20, second page, and so forth. I mean, the cool thing about uh, SEMrush, I'm going to also tell you. Uh, what you call it. It will also show you <coughs> the actual links. You know, it will show you show you the links right here. You see? So for this particular keyword, like what's the volume search, what's the percentage of the traffic, and where is it going? Sewer roaches, let's see. Yeah, that could be a blog. That's a blog right there, you see? Is using yeah, it looks like a lot of content. Ah, uh, yes, content is ranking now. Website has been around for a little over a year. That's nice. And need more buying keywords. But these are following the... Yeah, see, the thing with... Uh, when it comes to the keyword, Dane... <coughs> excuse me for my... <coughs> other time. Apologize. Um, the thing when it comes to the keyword is that you have several kinds of keyword, right? You have something called the general keyword. It's like when you do a search in your niche, it's going to be like a pest control near me. Basically, that should be your primary keyword first. Then secondly, the three to four words, you know, how to look for pest control or the best control uh, near me or the best control in Phoenix. <coughs> so that's like, uh, God, I gotta eat something. So that's like, uh, uh, we call this long tail keyword, two to three words. And then you have the conversational base, like a question base that you saw. And you also have a transactional, which is like, you know, hiring a pest control or get an est getting an estimate from a pest control, for example. Those are transactional. So the fact that you, and I'm glad that Melanie is here because, you know, this is another, another proof that when you write a lot of good content, of course you're going to rank organically on the front page of Google. But at the same time, we also have to look at your content and see if you have any type of uh, strategy to convert <coughs> To convert those readers into buyers. So let's say the brown uh, house spider. If I read this material, this has to be bolded right here. Uh, I advise the font size to be 14 or 16 inch more. But you see at the end, there is no call to action. Uh, <coughs> there's no call to action, uh, Dane. Uh, so what I would do with the image, with the title and the image, I would have this content in a short uh, snippet. So that way people can see the other blog and the third blog instead of reading the whole blog. Makes sense because if I click on this, it can take me to the same exact post by itself. 
See? So why not... <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. Why not just have like up to... Uh, Gersa typically describe various and read more. So when the readers click read more, it will bring them here. There should be a comment box and a sharing button so they can share it. And on the bottom here, you can say, you know, if you're looking for pest control near you, click call this number. So utilize that. Okay, maybe your conversion will increase if you take the advantage. Because right now, you, the content is can be worked to your advantage. <clears throat> okay, the content can be worked for your advantage, but but now you have to strategically utilize it. So so I can I can bold these, okay, and increase the font size. But I can also make sure that I have a common box right here. I'm, I'm assuming that the, this website is built on WordPress. And a sharing button. I don't know if these are... I think these are not necessarily sharing the content, I think. Let me double check. Oh, there is. Okay. <coughs> Good. So the sharing button is on the side. But the thing is, how does it work on the mobile device? So it's best that the sharing button going to be on the bottom of the blog posts then the comments so people can engage because engagement can help give you more value to the to the blog itself, right? So one option is if you can utilize the content and have a call to action at the end that says, you know, uh, if you are looking to hire a pest control, call this number or click this number and the number is going to be clickable. Make sense? So that kind of changes I would uh, definitely do. <coughs> Yeah, content. Okay, so no, uh, no more buying keywords, but those are following the random content. No, so I just uh, want people to continue uh, coming to the site for anything pest control related. Okay, because you do provide the service, so why not take the the content and and utilize the content strategically so you can also get conversion? Because even though if they're reading, like you know, how to do the homemade stuff, whatever. Guess what? Sometime I'd rather just pay you because. You taught me. You are the expert. I can learn from you. But you know what? Most you know customers basically they're just gonna pay you because you're the expert, and they can they can see you're an expert because you shared the content. Makes sense. So you utilize the content to advantage, right? So my suggestion is increase the font size a little bit. All the subheader have have them bolded. Have a social sharing button on the bottom with the comment box. And I know this might be a little bit work free because if customer do engage. You have to answer. So that's an opportunity for you. Make sense? So do that. Do that. Then get back with me and let me know if you notice any changes. You already mentioned to me that you have a crazy egg or hot jog. Always uh, follow your analytics. Follow the data. Data is very important. Even though the Google Analytics data or the Search Console, they're not 100% accurate. Maybe I would say 70%, 75%. But they're still good to have. Because with those data, data, it will help you to come up with more changes and strategy. Because you don't want to make any changes based on a hunch or based on a feeling. You know what I'm talking about? You got to look at the data, right? So that's one of my tips for you. And please work on that. Then get back to me. Let me know if you need anything else. Another suggestion. <clears throat> I'm assuming you already did this. And that is your, uh, since you're a local business, uh, make sure you utilize... Uh, your local office. Let's see if I can um, check out and see how are you doing when it comes to local listing. By the way, folks, if you all enjoyed this uh, live streaming, please go ahead and share, invite, tag. I'd highly appreciate it. If you're on YouTube, share it. On Presco, share. On Facebook, tag and invite. All right, that's what, I was, yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> and the cool thing, by the way, uh, SEMrush has an additional awesome feature that they added right now. Uh, it's called the, uh, what is it, what is it? Uh, list management. So they basically can help me pull <coughs> more information about uh, your local listing. I mean, the most local will give me like top 10, but uh, SEMrush has more. Let me go ahead and put your address here and see. 
और कम से Yeah, I like to copy paste. I'm too lazy. <clears throat> Get a few minutes. I'm like, oh, like what the what what? Ugh. I'm on a heart attack. What is what what is this? What is this? Seventy six, seventy percent missing. Twenty two incorrect. Zero percent. So, uh, watch lock pest control. So you have on the Google. Cool map, excellent. But for some reason, it didn't pull up on Facebook page. But I thought you have a social media channel. Why didn't it pull up? Maybe the name didn't match. Oh yeah, because the domain Watch Dog Pest Control, and your Google says what? Watch Dog Pest Control, and what's your Facebook? Watch Dog Pest. That's why, because the brand name didn't match, Dane. That's why uh, Maz couldn't pull it up. Because when it comes to local listing, one of the most important thing, if you are going to use this on a local listing, it has to be everywhere. You know, on your social, on the local listing, everywhere. So that's one of the reasons that it didn't pull it up. So if you do have, like in Facebook or Bing, Foursquare, USA, Info Hot Frog, Show Me Local, and all this stuff. Uh, 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 and again, another tip for you, try to dominate, dominate all these local listing because this is where your customer are going to go to these places to look up for you. Make sense? Because a lot of these places, mostly for transactional search, not for content base. It's a problem, uh, okay, only, okay, one one only for maps and one for UPS address. I have two addresses, okay, yeah, so if you have two addresses, <clears throat> then you have to utilize both. That means you have to, if you're using the UPS, let's say you don't have an actual office, right? I know I have another awesome, a young client who does uh, carpet cleaning, they use this as their business office, right? They get all the material here, but they don't sit here, right? They have three uh, vans and they're, they're very successful. And I understand that kind of business too. It's very smart to save money, correct? So my suggestion is if you are using UPS store, uh, make sure you have two listing. Uh, if, you wanna, if, you, if you want to kind of uh, be a little bit advanced, what you need to do is just search for uh, virtual offices in your area just look go to google and type virtual offices near me because there's so many companies that will let you use their business address for your business right uh or you can just uh, look up for co-working spot or co-working spaces you can also use their address because the mail comes to them and you can check and whatnot right uh let's see do we have a house and we, are we so we have, i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't use the house dane my recommendation is never use the house as your business. I mean, it's very smart from your point if you're gonna go with the UP store because the the UP store when you when you when you pay for the mailbox, what they say for a business account, they will tell you to use um, set up your box the suite number, right? So that's fine. But try to look for co-working spaces, right? Because co-working spaces have offices, and you can also rent the space on a monthly basis with the mailbox. That can also help out because if if client shows up, usually from your website, they are, they're going to call you. They're not going to show up at your spot. But let's say somebody wants to be a, like a annoying person and want to stop by. They can always come to the co-working spot. And somebody at the front desk can respond, right? So so with the local listing, this has to be fixed. Uh, right now, uh, only this location is showing up. So basically, at least try to use these exact information. Uh, oh, really? Now, i tell you why. The Google, why Google will suspend it. Because the idea for Google, you have to understand from their point of view, the Google My Business page, it was created so an actual storefront local business can utilize it. So several years ago, some spammers used to use the Google My Business to promote their business, but they don't even have an actual location, right? It makes no sense because the whole concept behind the Google My Business page is supposed to be geo-targeting, uh, geolocation, Geofence, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be location-based business. That's why. So some folks work from home, even though they have like business similar to yours. I don't recommend them to use a home address. So what I would do, uh, even though if you can use the UPS store with the suite number, I've never seen any of some of my clients got, got uh, completely suspended. The rule is uh, if you have two locations, make sure that the phone numbers are different, right? But recently, very, very recently, 
I would say two, three months ago, they've been hammering on the actual business because I have a client in the mortgage business. They have several locations. They are nationwide, but they have like nine office locations, right? And these offices, an actual office. So some of the account were suspended because the number was the same and there was some sort of mismatch. So what I told the client, client right now, Google is requesting a photo of the actual business. Make sense? So in that situation, my advice to you, look for a co-working space. Okay, so do a search like co-working space in Phoenix and see if it's close to the specific area that you do business with and just pay them monthly and you can use that as your business address, which also means you have to go back to your Google business page and make all the update. Okay, so and the, the cool thing about the local listing, this will help you to get more exposure, to get more targeted customer, find your business, find your website and whatnot. Make sense? So I still highly recommend that you, that you should use it. Let me let, let me check the let me use the my SEMrush because SEMrush has more uh, database. Let me see what they pull up. <clears throat> Let's see. Give me a minute here. Give me a few seconds. Let me see what. And if you need any any of these copy, just you know, send me a message. Connect with me on Facebook. Send me. I'll, I'll send you copies of these so you can get back with your developer or your marketing company so they can help you out. Let's go and check this. Lashanda, what's going on, girl? How are you? Thank you. Thank you. So, Dane, what does it say here? 82. Yeah, I see a lot of them. So, Alexa. Oh, man. Oh, man. You got to be an Alexa, dude. So, people can talk to the Alexa home uh, and say that, you know, who is the best pest control in Phoenix, right? Uh, Apple directory, Bing issues, Facebook with issues, Foursquare not present, um, Snapchat, Instagram, Yellow Pages, Second Find Local, uh EP, ap local so there's so many dude again if you need a copy of these Ray, east ray straight east, east ray straight east ray is that the same one? Oh, you were right so you have two addresses here you see the east ray street so you gotta make sure that all the addresses are one for now so having a local listing, especially for local business, if you have a front store, I highly, highly recommend that you all need to have this because this is like the yellow pages of the internet. And customer do go to those places, not to read just content, they go there to look for businesses. So why not be present there? You know what I mean? Faisal Zaman, what's going on? Hey, good to see you, brother. Trying to stay in the house due to the corona. <laughs> You know, where we come from, we always stay in the house. Not a big deal. It's, it's actually fun. Stay at home should force you to come with some cool ideas, creative stuff. That, just don't waste your time watching too many movies. Not saying don't watch it, but don't waste too much. Don't waste too much time watching movies all the time. Use the opportunity to read, spend time with the family, right? Do something crazy. Okay. Uh, how do you keep your energy level high throughout the whole day? You always seems like a super pumped man. When you are breathing, man, when you're breathing, when you're breathing, man, you got to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You got to be grateful, man, to the creator, right? You're breathing, breathing, man. Why not be happy? <clears throat> some people can't breathe. And some people right now, unfortunately, look what's happening. They're losing their lives, right? Got to keep smiling, man. Got to keep smiling and let others smile too. Watchdog. Pest control. Oh my God, I can't even look. Sorry, man. I can just look at this stuff. I, I have a possibly insect phobia. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Dane, do you have any more question about local listing and my strategy about how turning your content to get more uh, conversion? Uh, I think those are the two. I think those are two tips. The third tip was the phone number. Make sure the phone number on the top is very visible. It's very big. And look at the analytics, Google Search Console, Google Analytics, and the hot jar. Use those data to make the changes that you need to make 
on uh, on the upside. You said you lost me. What do you mean? Do you have any question? Did I miss anything? Do you have any more questions? <clears throat> Do you have any more questions? Looks like the connection is better now. Amazing. Uh, okay, thank you. I'm back. Welcome back. <clears throat> yeah, I have to I have to go live like probably three times. <laughs> Man. Because the connection was breaking. What do I do for a living? I, uh, I'm a clown by day and I hunt rabbits at night. Faisal, uh, I, do, uh, I run a digital marketing agency here in San Antonio, Texas. That's what I do. All right, then. Thank you so much, man. If you still have any more questions, you can see my Facebook page right here. Make sure you connect with me. If you need any help, if you want to improve this, if you want to try new things, especially with the time right now, I have some of my clients and friends who are in the IT business and carpet cleaning business that their business is going up. Like they're actually getting a lot of calls. So I'm assuming that you're probably getting the same thing since everyone's at home, right? <clears throat> so if you're doing great, keep it up. Make some changes, uh, as I mentioned to you. See if that can expand and bump, uh, get you more uh, customers and whatnot. Let me know. So to answer the Faisal's question, yeah, I run a digital marketing agency. It's called OnlineBusinessOwners.org. Let me show you my company. So beside providing... Um, Really? <clears throat> Besides providing, uh, I provide businesses and uh, I provide services to digital marketing. So digital marketing, everything from web development, search engine, um, uh, online ads, uh, Google Bing, social media ads, social media management, content writing, consulting and training. And so I do train uh, advertising agencies. I do classes, workshops, and at the same time, whatever I teach, I provide. So that's my company, and these are some of the services that I offer. Okay? Okay. Who right? Who right? All right, folks, it is 5.50 p.m. Central Time. Do you all have any more questions? Do you all have any more questions? Let's see. Let's see. What, what is this? What is this? I lost a comment here. Somebody commented. Sometimes the comment don't work very well. Uh, did somebody comment? Who who commented? When will you be? Uh, when will you be on next? What do you mean? Like next time? I'm I'm usually uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to come here like around uh, uh, like 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to do. It used to be 6:30. Actually, it used to be like 9 p.m. 10 p.m. 6.30, I used to do the local workshop right here, but since, uh, since the facility is going to be closed at 6, I do have a 24-hour access, though, <laughs> right? And now I move the timing to 4 p.m. to see exactly if that is, if that is going to help uh, more people to get access. Uh, let's see. Hi, Yusuf. Uh, just want to say hi. How are you? Yes, yeah, a beautiful day. I hope... Uh, man, sometimes this... Thing doesn't work, but I can't even read the whole thing. One second, this comment for some reason is not working that well. I can't even read the whole comment. Crazy, crazy. What's wrong with you? <sighs> Facebook is acting up. Uh, 
Okay, Susie, what's going on? Uh, I just want to say hi. See how you, how are you? Yes, yeah, a beautiful day. I hope you're doing well as well as possible. I don't want to do the marketing today. Just love seeing your smiley face, which I haven't seen in ages. There you go, Susie. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. I highly appreciate it. Okay, does anybody else has any question about online marketing, digital marketing, website, social media, online ads, what we need to do around this time, what we can focus on, what we can utilize? Uh, I've been suggesting some of my clients, not all of them, that they need to get into social media ads because we've seen a huge spike of how people are spending, you know, usually they do spend time on the social media, but now it's like, you know, more. So you can invest in Instagram or Facebook ads to target those audience, those customers of yours. <clears throat> uh, regarding the internet situation, 88 out of 200 U.S. cities have been, have seen internet speed decline this past week. Three cities by more than 40%. So Austin, 44%. Ugh. North Carolina, 24 uh, do have us, San Antonio? Uh, so Austin is close to San Antonio. It's like almost an hour from here. So almost like 44% decline the speed. That's that's not good. How do you feel about the Snapchat marketing? Excellent question. I never got into it. <laughs> okay. I tried to play with it. Just didn't feel it. Uh, I don't have any of my customer uh, using that marketing. I have a couple of colleagues a business colleague that are using it for their customers. Some of them are uh, getting some success and some don't, but I personally, unfortunately, I don't have experience. So I don't know too much about it. The principle can still be the same. You know, when I talk about the, the, the social marketing principle, and that is, you know, the content has to be valuable to the audience, has to be engaging and so forth. But I personally don't have an experience. So Sorry for that. Same thing with the TikTok. You know, it's funny because I do teach and tell people like when something new comes in, if you get a chance to get into it, get into it and dominate it because you never know what it's going to take. So I'm not fully following my own advice. <laughs> okay. And that's okay. That's fine. But I haven't got into the TikTok. I have the app. Uh, I have the Snapchat, but I just, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't feel it. And most of the audience is something that um, to me, I don't know. The, the, the type of content that I see there, uh, for some reason, it's, this lowers my IQ. So I don't want to keep watching those sort of stuff. That doesn't mean they don't have great stuff. They do. And they do have some great stuff, like, like any other platform out there. The most important thing with these social channels, even if you're going to build your brand there, make sure that your audience exists. Because yesterday when I was talking about, you know, specifically on Facebook marketing or social media in general, a lot of folks out there will basically teach you about the tricks and the technique and whatnot and the strategies, but nobody can, I, I, I don't want to say nobody, but, but I would say the majority don't even talk about conversion, how to convert those uh, of your fans or followers or likers into a paying customer. That's the most important thing, right? So that's why data is important. Focusing on the conversion is more important than looking at the strategy as a, as, as a tool to convert <clears throat> those target audience into paying customer, that should be the main focus. Because in my experience, I, I would say my clients get more from ads and search than the social. Social is like the last thing. Makes sense? But they get more traction, more conversion, more data from running the ad or doing this, the, the search engine. Because search engine focus on the behavior on, on the website itself, on the internet, and, and how to collect those data. Social media is also important because social media is part of the search in a way. But when, all, when you only focus just social alone, the organic stuff, or the SEO organic alone, that's not going to help, right? So I have this one surgeon amazingly for years. I mean, he's active on the Facebook story and I believe in Instagram, but not like on a daily basis, but he is getting a lot of re leads through Facebook ad. Believe it or not, that ad's been running for like, I don't know, almost two years, right? And he gets a lot of lead from it, and, which means he, he's not even following the typical advice where, you know, share daily content. He's not even doing that. He's busy taking care of the patient, but he's also getting leads just from the Facebook ad. Makes sense? So sometimes you do have to work and focus on what works for you. You know what I mean? 
So yeah, that was a good question. It is 5.57 p.m. Central Time. Let me know if y'all have any if y'all have any more questions. If y'all enjoyed learning from this live streaming, you know, do me a favor, you know, tag some of your cool colleagues and friends in business. Invite them or share this. If you're on YouTube, share this. If you're on Periscope, invite them as well. You must welcome Lashanda. Still, I haven't sent you the sticker. <laughs> Here's the thing, find me a good company that makes awesome stickers. I'm just going to upload the files and, and ship it to you. You're like, forget that. It's never going to happen. I got, I got the t-shirt the though on Teespring. <clears throat> so... Mm -mm. Okay, 5.58 p.m. I'll wait for two more minutes. <laughs> then get ready with the curfew, huh? I'll wait for two more minutes if y'all, if y'all, if you don't have any more questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, U.S. orders up to a year-long break on mortgage payments. Uh, you must welcome Melody. I mean, Melanie, you must welcome. <clears throat> All right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you still have any more questions, if you all need any help, you know, in terms of business or online marketing and all that good stuff, you know, do let me know, send me messages, and I'll be more than happy to help and do this session. I'll be back on Monday, <clears throat> Monday, 4 p.m. I'll talk about, I think the subject going to be on uh, Google advertising, okay? I'll see you later. If uh, for anybody that, that's watching this as a replay, just type the word replay in the comment section. And that's about it. Y'all have an awesome weekend and bye-bye uh, for now.